The M1 Abrams came into service in 1980. As America's 21st century tank, it was heavily armored and had a gun that could fire up to 2,500 meters. The tank was first tested in the Gulf War 10 years later, where it fought off against Iraqi T-55s. T-55s are a tank from the 1950s. Hardly the best tank out there, but with the superior range, the Abrams could quickly dash into Baghdad, wiping out one of the largest armies on the planet. In a war closer to modern times, the Abrams range advantage didn't quite play in. The majority of the enemy combatants in the newest Iraqi war were infantrymen carrying RPGs in urban areas. Although a few Abrams were destroyed, it wasn't quite the overwhelming success they thought it would be. The Department of Defense is eagerly looking for replacements for the Abrams. But in the meantime, it is the king of the tanks. The Abrams can be seen in Egypt, Kuwait, Australia, Saudi Arabia, and ironically, modern state of Iraq. According to the diagrams of this tank, it is twice as long as it is wide. So if we got seven wide, we have to go 14 long. That is a lot of freaking blocks. I'm going to cheat a bit and use yellows as my base so that the pilot doesn't get one-shotted so easily. I'm also going to limit how many blocks I use in the underbelly so that I have just enough blocks to protect the pilot. After this, it's a matter of getting the appropriate height of the tank. The base is at a ratio of 3 to 2 with the main body. That means a 3 tall base has to be complemented by a 2 tall body. A part of the aesthetic of the chassis is that it has these nice curved edges to make it look kind of boat-like. Worth mentioning, since we're switching between blocks here, you can actually quickly switch by using the middle mouse button on the block you are selecting. The base only needs to have the tracks put on. Preferentially, it would be one giant long track, but in this game it will have to be two. Once we have the base right, it's time to move on to the turret. The turret needs to be rounded along the front and back to make it look more like a turret, and less like a block on a block. Flipping triangle cubes on their side gives this very effect. The gun is very important, of course. No tank can be complete without a gun. The guns in this game are all very aesthetically small, so we're going to go and build one out of blocks. Add a few triangle cubes in the middle to give it a look of rifling, and add some facing outward to make it look like one mean anti-tank gun. In the back of the turret is a communications antenna. Sounds like a perfect place to put ours. After that, some minor modifications to get this thing combat ready, and we're ready to go. Alright, let's give this guy a spin. This is the Abrams in action. Um, not going to have quite the charging effect that I had in previous videos. This will be more sniping. Oh god, get out of my way, asshole. Don't you shoot me. Okay. I'm a tank. Um, these guys are kind of cool. Um, they don't really work the way real cuts work, but that's fine. I can live with that. So I guess I'll go to Sniper's Canyon with a sniper. This guy's a, a healer on a stick. Oh, we already have one enemy sniper for the snipe off. And he's blown his load on this aircraft and got good hits. I got no good hits. Alright, time to run away. Until my sniping McSnipe is regenerated. Got him in my scopes. Oh god, he got me in scopes. Okay, this 
didn't start hitting anything. Oh god, my gun is gone. My front is gone. I'm getting out of here. I have one gun left. I have transformed from a Abrams into a troop transport. I believe this is a VAB transport, if I'm correct. And all my teammates with me are now. Oh god. Everyone sucks but me. And these guys here, those guys are pretty awesome too. Come on dude, leave me alone. Oh god, there's people everywhere. Oh yeah, one more shot. Oh, they get mad. Oh god, they put an evacuation chair in this. Oh my god. Well, at least they can't see me. Oh, that was awful. I don't know if it's 